Hi guys, Paul Pluto on the Paul Pluto channel. Today guys, we're doing a paid review, 20JU39. This is for Brian. Brian, and before we start this, let's do a wist, wist, wist watch check. I am wearing a Pothek Philippe Calatrava 6006G, white gold. This is one of the most beautiful Calatravas in the modern creation. I am wearing a Herman So shirt with my name embroidered on the cuff. I'm wearing French cuffs. I'm wearing a, a Hugo Boss tie. I'm wearing cufflinks. Yes, I am cufflinks. Paul Smith cufflinks. And uh, yes, we've got to be dapper today. Okay, let's go on with this question here. Hi, Archie. I hope all as well as in Australia. Crazy times here in New York with a pandemic enabling me to spend plenty of extra time with my wife while I work from home. Well done. Very good to have time with the wife there it's uh it's very important that when these things happen you've got to know who is important because i gotta tell you man sometimes in life it takes a an event like this before you realize what is really important we're so caught up in the pursuit of the nasty lucre the lucre you know the money moolah 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 so it's very important we we do have a bit of reflection. Okay, let's keep going there. I've sent you, oh, this is the COVID pricing. Oh, 20 US. Man, it was, uh, uh, uh. Okay, okay. My collection started a few years ago after graduating college in the early 90s with a Cartier Pasha 10033 with a gold bezel. Dated power reserve complication on a crocodile strap. The watch was my entire collection for 25 years, daily use, and aside from a new strap every couple of years, I don't, didn't think about watches. Over the last year, I caught the watch bug and my collection has grown. I initially picked up a 2018 Rolex GMT2 Batman that I thoroughly enjoyed wearing and can only imagine potentially upgrading it to a Daytona. Then after hearing you screaming incessantly, Patek Philippe, I bought a Patek 5146P Platinum annual calendar about six months ago. Well, why did you only send me $20? You've got a Patek, for God's sake. Stingy criter. It's an amazing watch and certainly the nicest dress watch I've ever owned. Then after being home with nothing to do, I was inspired to buy a new watch. You certainly weren't inspired to send me any more money, were you? My God. Uh, much to my wife's charging, I bought two. What the Amiga Seamaster 300M on rubber and a Tudor Pelagos Blue. Both watches arrived a couple weeks ago. So here I am, a guy who had one watch a year ago, now has the following five watches. Cartier Pasha, Rolex Batman, Patek, Platinum Annual Calendar, and a Amiga Seamaster 300 and Tudor Pelagos. I am thrilled with both the Amiga and Tudor and have been wearing them daily for the last few weeks, but my wife just can't wrap her head around why I wouldn't want to wear Rolex and Patek all the time and insist the Tudor and Amiga are a waste of money because she believes they are lesser brands I shouldn't need to wear. The Cartier is grandfathered in from complaints as it's been around so long. I don't understand. The Cartier is grandfathered in from... Well, I don't know what you mean by that, but hey, you New Yorkers, you do a lot of weird things. I've bought all of these watches used from reputable dealers and I believe they are the foundation of my collection. I have zero credit card debt. Well, that's good. Uh, Google finish Google finish Google thank you um, okay uh, Google goodbye Google uh, I bought all these watches da 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 I also have zero zero credit card debt and earn enough money to pay for well you certainly don't have enough money to pay me a bigger fee do you 20 lousy dollars uh, and also a new Cartier Ballon Blue for my wife. Looking forward to hearing your thoughts on your, my collection, and I think I should expand or con contract the collection. Do you think I have too many watches like my like my wife, or do you have any suggestions, possible gaps in the collection? Thanks, Brian. Brian, let me explain a few concepts to you. When you are in the alumni, it's very rude when you have a Rolls Royce to tip the valet a quarter a nickel or a dime and that's basically what you've done with me Brian very appalling manners very low rent that deal was for people who have no money and considering you have a platinum Patek I am really disappointed with the form you have shown there it just goes to show what an um, a mean nasty man you are now let's have a look here 
Let's go through this list. Now that we've got the subtleties out of the way, I can be brutally honest with you. The Cartier Pasha, Cartier Pasha. What do I think of this Cartier, this Cartier Pasha? You know, you know, honestly, with Cartier, I've got to be totally honest with you. They were a great brand, but they haven't been great for a, a long time there. This is just a boring 90s Pasha. Hmm, not really my cup of tea. Uh, it's okay. It's nothing. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, keep that. That's the one that started it all. The Rolex Batman. Tacky, tacky, tacky. Just tacky New Yorker. That's all I can say. Tacky, tacky, tacky. Would have been really classy to have a black, black, black. Something a little bit off, off beat, off the left, of center. But no, you had to go with the herd mentality of Batman, of Batman. What do you want me to say? Oh man, the Batman's amazing! Ah! You, you, you know what you want me to say? I mean, for God's sake, have some decorum, chap. Have some decorum, the Batman. Uh, big deal, Brian, big deal. You've got the platinum Patek. Well, you certainly don't behave like a Patek owner. I must be telling you there. I will be writing to the archives to see if you actually bought this at retail or not very disappointed with the 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 twenty dollars man that was for people who have financial problems in covid and um it's pretty damn lousy lovely watch the 5146 i love it it's basically the 5035's modern incarnation great watch personally i gotta be completely honest with you brian now that you've you've, you've been a bit of a cheap son of a bitch i will tell you the truth i actually prefer the 5396 I think that is a better annual calendar. It's reminiscent of the world's first Patek automatic perpetual calendar. Okay, so I, I think the the uh, the 5396 would have been nicer. And in modern times, I prefer the 5205. 5146, great piece. But um, yeah, I just wanted to put that in to piss you off. Then we've got the Amiga Seamaster 300. Uh, well, you are very cheap, so I think it could be a perfect combo deal for you. Amiga Seamaster 300. I think you're you're extremely, extremely. You're bored. You you you're bored, and you're buying buying things because you're bored. Uh, the Seamaster 300 has absolutely. Uh, uh, why? Why, Brian? Why would you buy that piece there? Why would you only pay $20 when you are loaded? It's just pathetic. And uh, the Tudor Pelagos. Tudor Pelagos, I've got to be honest with you, Brian. When I have viewers who write into me who are 25 or 30 and they've saved their, their nickels and dimes and they bought, finally bought a Tudor Pelagos, I congratulate them. But when a man of your ilk buys it, all I can say is cheap, nasty man. Cheap, nasty man. Uh, yeah, just nasty, Brian. You, you honestly, uh, I, I, I just don't get a good feeling with you. I think you are just nasty and cheap. Uh, you're thrilled, Brian. I don't really care. I don't think you're in any position to make assertions as to watch collecting. Okay. I am the pontiff for God's sake. Uh, okay. Your wife, your wife is right. I'm surprised the wife doesn't leave you if you have such unsavory habits with the pontiff i could imagine what what a what a what a mean nasty man you are to live with uh the cartier yep keep that the the, the rolex is tacky just like yourself let me guess let me guess you 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 um you drive a bmw 3 series by any chance uh you bought these from reputable dealers well the, the, let, let, let me just let me just be completely frank with you. There's only one dealer in America you should go to for pre-owned watches. David SW, David SW, David SW. The New York dealers, they're far too expensive. I mean, you guys may have the Diamond District, but there ain't no bargains there, that's for sure. Uh, and you've got zero credit card debt. The fact that you actually have to tell me you have zero credit card debt is unnerving. It's very unnerving. Why? Why? I have zero credit card debt. What does that mean, Brian? What, what exactly? Why would you tell me this? Why would you tell me this? Why? Why would I even? Why would I? I, I don't understand, Brian. Brian. 
I don't understand why you would tell me this and earn enough. Well, you, you certainly don't earn enough to tip the pontiff, do you? Let's just be frank and honest there. Uh, you bought your wife a ball on blue. That's actually nice. That's actually a nice watch. I like the ball on blue's got the little crown at the side there, uh, you know, inside the case. It's, it's, an, it's an interesting piece. I bet you you bought steel. You wouldn't have gone two-tone because you're stingy. You would have bought the steel one, wouldn't you? You wouldn't have bought the gold one, Brian, would you? No, 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 no. I bet you it was hard enough to get the steel one out of you. That's that's for sure. Looking forward to your thoughts on my collection. Well, I, it's a hodgepodge of uh, <laughs> not much there to collect. I think. Uh, do you ha think I have too many watches? I think you have no idea what you're doing, Brian, and you're tacky. That's what I think. Do you have any suggestions? Okay, what I would do is I'd firstly I would. PayPal, ArchieLuxury72 at gmail.com, $100, okay? Then what I would do is I would immediately go and take your wife out for a really nice dinner. Then what I would do is I would, if I were you, I would get rid of the Amiga and the Tudor. I would, I would keep the Cartier. The Batman, oh, I'd probably get rid of the Batman. And I would get an Explorer 2, much more stealthy, wealthy. Uh, yeah, that's what I would do. I would also get a Rolex Submariner. That's what I would Or a Tudor Black Bay. Far more. Um, yeah, that's, that's what I would be doing, Brian. But, Brian, thank you for the paid... Well, actually, Brian, i I got to say I'm very disappointed with you. This is the, the level of Patek owners. I'll be writing to the archives and, and lodging a, a complaint with Terry myself. Uh, yeah, not impressed, Brian. Not impressed of the, the new breed of punter. Not impressed at all. I've got to be, be totally, totally uh, honest with you there. Very disappointed with your approach. Very disappointed with the lousy $20. Guys, like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Don't be afraid to put some nasty comments on this guy's collection. And please, remember guys, man, Archie cannot survive on Google Ads alone. I need paid reviews. The paid reviews keep me full-time on the YouTubes. Um, if I get lousy $20 reviews, I'm not going to survive for long. We need $50, 50 US dollars for a paid review. And I will, will review your collection, give you the brutal, honest truth. And uh, yes, yes, so... Uh, don't don't be stingy like Brian here. I mean, what what sort of what? And this is like having a Rolls Royce at the country. Google, I've finished. It's like having a Rolls Royce turning up at the country club and tipping tipping the valet uh, a nickel. Very poor form. Very very poor form. Then you wonder why they steal the toolkit out of the back. You wonder why, Brian, because you damn well deserve it. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, new sponsor on the channel, App Stanchi 8. Help get the most of your engineering and DevOps with App Stanchi 8. App Stanchi 8 provides on demand DevOps infrastructure, test automation, and continuous integration as a service with a focus on mentoring and hiring assistance to help engineering teams scale. They are experts in Google Cloud, Amazon Web Services, and the latest open source utilities to help your company save time and money. Cost reduction in your hosting bills alone will pay for itself. In addition, the team is 100% onshore, New York City 
based senior engineers. Abstantiate will help you get most productivity out of your current stack and or employee headcount. Email hello at abstantiate.com. Please email now hello at abstantiate.com for more information. Archie Luxury proudly supporting fantastic businesses. And don't forget, guys, make sure you subscribe to the Archie Luxury Corporate live streaming channel to be updated on all the live shows I do. Live shows! Yeah.